Hello everybody and welcome to a, uh, a new little look at something on the channel and this is a power wash simulator. Uh, thank you very much to Future Lab and Square Enix for passing me the key and sorry it has taken me so long to get to this but uh, as many of you will know I've not been very well lately uh, for quite a few weeks and that has kind of delayed things. I will talk about that in a minute though. Uh, in the meantime, let's have a little look at Power Wash Simulator. So I've been playing a little bit of this while I've been unwell, because, you know, it's a chill game to do. Um, so it has uh, a shop with many, many different things in it. So you've got lots of different power washers. I've gone all the way up to the professional super duper power washer, which is amazing and super fun to use. Um, you've got different clothing, you've got modifications. I haven't gone a lot into that. I've got some money actually. I could probably, I could probably get myself like a donut pink. Oh no, that's not my pressure washer though. It's the, the slightly less good one. I need, I, these are the, I can have a flower power one. I could have flower, I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm going to have a flowery pressure washer. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, you can get clothes. You can get cleaning liquids, which I don't use because I'm just like, I'm a purist about this for some reason. Mostly because you've got to go over it twice then. Why would you do that? And then you've got all these different nozzles, which are extremely, extremely useful. So I've uh, gone through and gotten a lot of those nozzles. And uh, so now I can pretty much do anything at any distance with any nozzle size, which is pretty cool. So that's that's what we're doing there. Um, I've got a new, a brand new career mode level to share with you guys. So I believe we are going to be cleaning this awesome monster truck today. <laughs> so I'll read this. So Sarah Sawatis, uh, from Blake Private Airport. Uh, so apparently the search for Ulysses the cat is finally being called off, though not before we chased every wild goose out there. Even old Frida in the lighthouse claimed she saw him in the distance speeding across the rocks. Faster than any animal she'd ever seen. Then when I pressed her and asked if he had wheels, she looked down at her feet and nodded. <laughs> so it's it's a cat monster truck, guys. <laughs> anyway, we were driving back to base when a group of miners, furious at not being paid by the mayor, blocked the road and symbolically poured a load of concrete over the monster truck. How that solves their problems is anyone's guess, but it sure gives you one heck of a job to do. So we're trying to get concrete off a monster truck. Um, this may require soap, I don't know. I usually don't use soap to clean things in this, but we'll see. Also, one thing I I will note about it is, um, and it, it is a bit of a shame, I think, is that there isn't any music except, I think there's like one level in it where there's uh, music. And uh, I don't know, I think sometimes that's quite good because my main use for this game is like, I'm watching something on telly or something on my other monitor and I'll be just, just or talking to friends and I'll just be playing this game in the background. So for that, it's perfect not to have music anyway. So as, as I say, it just depends on how you how you play the game, I suppose. But um, just in case you were expecting music and quite a lot of the games that I play do have it in the background, there just isn't any for this one. <laughs> okay, let's start, let's start. Let's clean the monster truck. So this is all of the, um, this is all of the, keyboard configuration there's actually quite a lot you would be surprised at how detailed this game actually is um okay and there's a lot of um i'll i will show you as we go along but can you, can you see that tire that i'm hovered over right now you can see in the top left up there that there's um we'll, we'll just pressure wash it i'll see if i can get this concrete off oh the concrete's not too bad actually so you can see that as i'm cleaning this tire that white progress bar goes down. So I can hover over any different part of this monster truck. There we are. And you can kind of... So I'll wash the wheel. So you can kind of make sure that you do all of it before you move on to the next piece. Um, although sometimes, depending on the mood I'm in, Sometimes I'll just give it all a, a bit, a sort of a basic wash, get it mostly clean, and then go in for the little bits. The other thing you can do is if you press control, you can go to different elevations. You crouch, you stand, you crouch, you lie on the floor. 
So I can lie on the floor and just get that bit down there on this wheel. So yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys a bit more about, about my health concerns. <laughs> and why, uh, why it's been so long. It's been so long because I've been ill three times. And I have not been properly well since New Year's Day. <laughs> like, over New Year I started to have like stomach problems. Which then went into a full-blown case of uh, norovirus. Winter vomiting bug. So we were... So I was having... Yeah, throwing up everywhere and that was super fun. You know, lovely way to start the New Year. And I was like, okay... And I think some of you, uh, some of the very last videos that I recorded were of me struggling through with like horrible stomach pains and things and sort of like, oh yeah, I'm feeling really sick, but you know, I'll still record. So I was trying at that point. And then, you know, it just got really bad and I started throwing up and getting acid reflux and horrible things like that. And it was just really difficult to sleep or anything like that. So then, I was just getting better from that. I was like, oh, okay, just getting better. So I keep, I, I keep saying to, to you guys, um, and I apologize for this, but I kept saying on Twitter and things, oh yeah, I'm, get, I'm feeling better. But the problem is every time I'd feel better, I'd get a new thing. So, so then the next thing was I got flu that lasted a good three or four weeks, constantly coughing. I have only just stopped coughing from starting coughing kind of well i still am a bit if i get if i get a bit stressed out or uh, or whatever then i will probably start coughing again but anyway <laughs> i've been cough constantly coughing since about the middle of january so the, maybe the second week of january just as i was getting over feeling rough with my stomach and then i got the flu and i lost my voice <laughs> <laughs> I completely had the laryngitis, lost my voice and everything. I uh, was coughing everywhere, all over the place. It would have just been impossible to record anything. So I took some time out. And then... I was just getting better around Valentine's Day. And I caught another... I don't know whether it was cold, flu, COVID, what. But I caught another one. And that was another one where I lost my voice and was coughing everywhere and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. Oh, I was meant to be just washing this wheel, wasn't I? I've washed everything around it. But uh, you can see that the tyre is nearly done. And the wheel out of there still has a little bit of something something. So what you can do is press tab and it will show you the dirty bits in orange. Which is actually quite useful. <clears throat> Um, if you want, I'm using mostly my uh, stubby gun here, so if you press 1, you've got a stubby gun, you've got a short extension, a long extension, and an extra long extension. So if I wanted to, like, I don't know, pressure wash from, like, over here, you'd use the extra long extension. And that, that can be quite good if you want to just, like, go over a lot of things, or if there's something really up high and you don't want to use ladders. Um, most of the time there will be a ladder provided. Uh, sometimes there will be scaffolding provided if it's a really, really big high job. I'm glad this is a small job because uh, the bigger jobs do take ages. This is this would probably be about right, and you probably won't think it'll take that long, but it'll probably be about right for like a half hour, 45 minutes sort of episodes. <laughs> it does take a while. And get, get that number plate done. Oh, actually, I'm going to go back to stubby gun. The stubby gun... Most of, oh look it FL meow <laughs> It's a meow Yeah I'm just like totally not doing what I said and just going over everything. So I'm gonna get on the floor. I think most of the stuff that on this tire is on the ground now. So I'm just gonna see if I can I'll see if I can get the tire to ding. Look on the inside there. And it's quite detailed, do you see what I mean? You have to get on top, you have to get underneath, you have to get right on in there. May as well do some of this while I'm under here, like. I expect I'll have to come back under here, though. 
And then I can use my orange thing. And there we are. The tire is done. It dinged at me. So it'll ding at you when it's uh, a certain part is finished. But there are a lot of parts. I will show you. This is my um, tablet. You can press escape to get into that. And it shows you all the different parts. <laughs> you see how many parts there are on this thing. And, and this isn't even a big job, this one. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of parts that you just have to like go through and then it'll be like bull bars or something like that won't be done and you'll be like oh well uh, but it'll be something even more obscure than bull bars it'll be like um what did i had i had to look one up i had to look up what a cleat was on a boat for example <laughs> to wash it because i didn't know what it was so how could you find it if you don't know what it is <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm actually learning doing this. I'm learning parts of boats and aeroplanes and things. But this shouldn't be too bad because this is just a car. This is just this car parts. It shouldn't be too awful. Let's see if we can get the number plate done at least. Maybe? No? No. But yeah, anyway, so. It is a pleasure to be back. Um... Excuse any random coughing that happens. I'm hoping that I've left it long enough that I shouldn't cough just for like a, an hour's worth of recording or whatever. But like I say, if I get out of breath or a bit stressed out, that's usually when the coughs come back. So I just have to be nice and chill and play chill games for a, a week or two until, uh, until I'm fully... 100% back with my with my lungs and everything. I don't actually think my lungs have ever been quite as good since I had COVID, to be honest. So I think what's probably going to happen now is every time I get some kind of uh, cold, cough, respiratory thing, it's going to hit me like a truck. Like a cat. Like a cat-based monster truck. Yes. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash his face, I decided. I think his face needs a wash. You know what I'm like, I can't just stick on one tiny little bit. Just wash his front and then we'll maybe go back underneath and do a bit more down there. But yeah, I'm probably still sounding a little bit like my voice is still a bit ropey as well. So it's uh, probably going to be sounding amazing and good. To start with, <laughs> I might get a bit ropier as we go through. I might also get my my old froggy throat, which for some reason plagues me. I've no idea why, but it does. At the most inopportune and random times as well, uh, my voice will be absolutely fine, and then I'll suddenly be like, <laughs> it's not the best. But this is a really good game for like being able to chat to you guys about things and uh, and so I uh, very much appreciate the opportunity to just play a level of this quickly. Um, and what I can then show you, at, maybe at the end, I will show you like some of the, the bigger ones I've done um, because they all get saved as little time lapses. So I can show you like sped up versions of some of the really long winded ones that I've done and it'll give you an idea of like, some of them have taken me upwards of two hours to do. So there's some where I've actually watched a film in the background <laughs> while just plodding away with my pressure washer. It's been quite fun. Oh yeah. Pulverizer wheels. I guess you need like wheels that are called pulverizers on <laughs> or tires even. They're pulverizer tires. I guess you need that on a monster truck, don't you? It's a bit mean of them to pour concrete all over it just because they didn't like it. Like, was it causing a some sort of public menace or something? But all of these things have little stories as well. Like, uh, there was one with a boat where the mayor... I think the mayor... You had to do the mayor's house and the mayor's house was covered in graffiti and then, like, slowly throughout it you're doing things like, um, you know, sort of cleaning his car and things and then all of a sudden he's like yeah I need to get out of here so I need you to pressure wash my boat for me <laughs> he's clearly like fleeing the country or something see that window dinged windows are quite quick to do generally 
Um, sometimes they have a window frame around them and that can get really fiddly. Super fiddly. So we're at 60% done now in 15, 15 minutes. But what will happen is towards the end it will slow down a lot because I'll be hunting for bits and pieces to do. So let's go do the roof actually because I can show you the ladders. You pick up the ladders and suddenly you're on the roof and then suddenly you're at a whole new perspective and there's a whole load new a whole load of new dirt for you to find. Hurrah. Ulysses, is that his name? Are you Ulysses? Oh yeah, it did say actually the search for Ulysses in the description, did it not? So Ulysses the cat. Oh yeah. His windscreen, well, you, you say his windscreen is done, but no, it's not. Because it didn't go ding. So you've got to look out for those dings when you're, when you're washing. Mostly on this one, I found that um, using quite a, quite a small nozzle, because it's a small kind of thing, um, it's a small, you can use the wider nozzles, like I could use a 40 nozzle. But you can tell already that that's a lot weaker. So you tend to have to go over things a lot more times. So, I don't know. I, I don't know, it's alright, I guess. But if you're doing a big floor or something like that, what you might want to do is pop soap on it and then go over it with like a really wide washer and so that may save you time. I, f I don't think there's a, a lot in it though, to be honest with you. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you have, which I will start getting back to soon. Um, I can't promise that I'll be back to them because I'm trying to keep my stress down. And sometimes comments can be stressful. Most of the time they're lovely, but sometimes they can be stressful. So I'm, uh, I will get back to them as soon as I feel well enough to. Um, and I would love to know <laughs> if you guys think that like, that you tend to use like you tend to use the same washer a lot. I tend to use a lot of different um, these ones, the extensions. I use a lot of different ones of those, so I can get different uh, heights and things like that. But I don't tend to. I tend to be very much. I use the um, that one and that one, and that's it. So like getting all these little bits in here is going to be so much easier with that little smaller nozzle. Look at his little tail! How cute! I'm actually really enjoying this job. I'm actually glad this one was the one that came up when you guys, uh, when I decided to record. Wonderful. But there's all sorts of special things. There's, um, there's a... Uh, I'm going to be doing this at some point, I think. Uh, when I've... When I'm doing something else and I, and I need a little thing to do in the background, there is the Tomb Raider mansion that you can do, which is really cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to that one and keeping that one for a special day. <laughs> but I'm getting towards the point where, I mean, shall we, shall we spend something in the shop? Like, is there anything that I don't have? In fact, did I, ah, oh, no, you know what? I didn't put in. Where's my, how do you do? I don't know how to do this. Cause I, I bought, um, did I not? I bought like a special flower power modification. Hmm. Custom styling for this professional duty pressure washer. Which is the the one I'm using. So how do I change it? That's how to change like clothing and stuff. That's changing the extension, which I usually do with the radial menus. I've got the Prime Vist the Prime Vista Pro attached. No, I don't know how to do it. Oh no. How do I make it flower power? <gasps> I have to look it up, aren't I? So, uh, pressure washer. 
It'll be something really simple that I could have just overlooked. Pressure washer simulator. Um, change skin. <clears throat> Click on the tab in the right bottom right corner of the power washer box to open a new display. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, so... Hit E to bring up the thing. Can't load out, yeah. Click on the tab in the bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. <laughs> the power washer box. Nope. I'm not seeing nothing in the bottom right corner. Oh well. Let's carry on washing. I guess uh, I will never know. <laughs> Unless someone in the comments lets me know or something and what I'm what I'm missing, but yeah. That's really annoying. Oh, someone on Reddit saying I can't for the life of me do it, so press E. There's a small thing in the corner where you can change the skin. Here is a picture. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Right, I certainly wasn't looking for that. Um, apparently it should be here. Ah, yes! Haha, <laughs> flower power. Right, there we go. So you know now. <laughs> Thanks, Twitter people, Reddit people. Why is it always that when it's on like Reddit, there's a better explanation than like when people write articles for game magazines and things? But yeah, I needed a, I needed a picture literally to show me how to do that. Terrible! I, I see what they mean when it's like it's not good UI, UI design that. That's not obvious. However, at least it's not something that you need to play the game. It's just a cosmetic thing, so I can forgive that. Also, my brain probably isn't exactly on a hundred percent form right now. <laughs> Can imagine me playing a puzzle game right now? There is no brain power left in my head. Have about enough brain power to talk and pressure wash a car. See, I'll pressure wash it in a game, but like, if it's my car, I'll just pay them. They'll pressure wash my whole car for like seven pounds. Amazing. My own theory, cats go wherever dinner's best. Clearly this garage. Or maybe we're just cleaning him up for dinner. Alright, so you can see all of this all of this. Still. So I'm gonna change nozzle here because I think getting into this bit is gonna take a bit more a bit more detail work. Wonderful. Same with like just under there. And it might be worth me getting down on the floor. Just seeing what I can get. So this is where it starts to get very detailed and a lot more difficult and a lot more time consuming. Whereas at the beginning, you're just sort of it's kind of fun, you don't need to really concentrate on much, and, and it's just kind of cool. But I think I'm going to go back to the 15. And the other thing you can do is if, with, if you press R, you can rotate the nozzle as well. Um, I think I need to go back to stubby gun. You see how much of a difference it makes? It really doesn't do well if you try and do things close up with the long gun. It just does not work. I'm just going to get the majority of it all off. I'm clearly in that kind of mood today. 
Uh, let's get the majority of this stuff off. Sort of day. But yeah, it's lovely to actually just be back recording, doing some chatting to you guys. Even if it's probably a little rusty, uh, you kind of get a little bit of um, anxiety after a couple of months, and it has nearly been two months of, uh, of not doing any recording. It's actually taken me a couple of days just to get back and sort of be like, okay, I'm going to sit down and actually record something because it's kind of like, I keep thinking, no, I'll just do this, I'll just do that. Oh, I've got these things to do first. <laughs> And that is the, that's definitely like the anxiety speaking, the sort of the, uh, the worry about things. The nerves, I guess it's more nerves than anything else. I say anxiety, but that's a very specific sort of condition, so. I always try to be very careful when I'm talking about things that, that are full on mental health conditions because uh, you know you, you say you're triggered or you say you're anxious or whatever and, and it means a very different thing in the actual mental health world so you gotta be kind of careful about the way you express yourself and sometimes things change over time as well um, you're an old lady like me I've lived long enough now that a few things have changed like I'm nowhere near like say my grandfather he doesn't have a clue he's he's at a point where he's he's like 90 and when he was young there was a world war going on in our country and it's like completely different like life experience to him and so he I think he feels very out of the loop he tries to understand things um but he has a lot of trouble because he's trying to sort of make it all work in his head and around his religious beliefs and things as well, so. He really struggles with the modern world and the way that things have to be said and the way that things, you know, that used to be fine to say are not anymore for him. But I would say with any older person, as long as they are trying to understand people and understand people's opinions and understand where people are coming from that is the the biggest thing they don't always get it right do they and i and i don't i'm still learning all the time but anyway that was a heavy conversation wasn't it but it's just just more like the importance of thinking about what you say really I try to do all the time and I don't always get it 100% right but I do try very hard and if I do get something wrong I, re I do try to sort of like fix it as much as I can fix it for the next time all right, I, I'm gonna get on my little step stool now give me a little bit of an extra goof and so then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get all the dirt I can see. Oh, that was good. See, how many dings did I get there? I'm like four or five in a row. But I think I need to go around with the the tab. The only thing that I would say about the tab thing um, is that they, the orange bits don't show up long enough. Show up for like a minute and then they're gone. I think I might need... Uh, the that one to do the because you can see inside this wheel it's just it's very fiddly very fiddly so we've got to try and grab these little tiny bits and that's what I'm saying about like when you first looked at this car did you think oh this is going to take like 15 minutes or whatever no you didn't because, oh man, I'm trying because since I tabbed out, I've not got my recording software up. I get, as some of you will know if you follow me for a while, if my recording software is not visible to me, 
I get very worried about has the recording stopped? I can't see. I can't see if it's suddenly decided that uh, there's no sound. I, I can't see if it's suddenly decided there's no picture. <laughs> so. It's not what you want. Hey, it's done. It dinged. Yes. So I think, uh, oh, that's tire it's still not, not right. Okay. Uh, what isn't right on the tire? Oh my goodness. They have very big tires, to be fair. So the wheel in has been done, but I think it's probably it's probably somewhere around here. Oh no, actually, I kind of need to go from the top. It's actually a height thing, isn't it? Like, I almost need to be stood on the wheel at the back there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move my ladder and see if I can get it into a better place. Oh yeah, so if I go up the ladder a little bit, I could probably... Oh look, from that perspective, you can see loads of stuff. Mm, can I drop down and stand on the tyre? Sometimes you've got to like, be a bit creative with where you stand. So can you imagine, like, there are ones where I did like a whole fire station and stuff. And you imagine how long those are going to take when you can see how long it takes just to pressure wash up. Ugh, that's annoying. Can you see there? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that if I have to go around the other way. A few things I can see from here. It's like if I can see something, I try and clean it at this point in the in the washing process. Because if I happen to be in a in a position where I can see dirt, then it's good to try and get it gone. Right, I think I need to go around the other way. So one thing that I could maybe try and do is to go on the maybe one of the longer range extensions. And try and go from there. Because we're really not getting this tire, are we? Come on. In fact, I think I do need to go back to Stubby Gun now. Come on, little tire. You can do it. Only one side of it there. Ah. There we go. Is that tire done? I can't see. I can't get a I can't get a lock on it. Come on. Nope, still not. I'm gonna do some other stuff because that tire is driving me nuts. It'll be one of the things I think I'll come back to right at the end. The back cat leg. There we are. That's another one dinged. So eventually you'll get to a point where there'll not be too much left to do. And it'll give you bits that you can just focus on. So like how I was trying to focus on that tyre, for example. So that back leg of the cat is still not quite there. I don't know what's exactly wrong with it. That might be a case of going all the way up to the top and looking at the top of the leg. Ooh. See, the ladder gets in its own way sometimes. So it might actually be a case that I need to bring the step round and use the step instead of the ladder. That is sometimes the way it is. Uh, I don't know why. Ah, oh, yeah, I see it. It's like, where's the dirt on that back cat leg? But I did find it, I think. It's still a tiny bit somewhere, though. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah! That frame up the top there needs a good old... There's his tail done. Lovely. Okay. Right. 
the roof rack is still a bit of a mess. So it's looking quite good from that perspective, so I wonder if I go around here, if we'll see lots of other bits that need sorting out on the roof rack. The roof rack's fiddly. So what you've got to do is go from several different directions and try and see where there might be. Dirt, that's done. Lovely. Fat, the, the cat's front leg. The fat front leg? Sorry, cat. I didn't mean to call your, your front legs fat. Still got a dirty face. Even though I tried to wash it. Cats are usually much cleaner than this. Tilly is by far my, like, cleanest animal. <laughs> Definitely cleaner than the ferrets. Yeah. That's the other thing that we had to, to deal with while while being sick was um, Aries has been diagnosed with uh, a lot of horrible stuff. I'm sure that that will be coming out in social media and stuff pretty soon when maybe when Avac's a bit better. He's still on antibiotics and things at the moment, so I expect he'll be still out of commission for a few days. But, um, yeah, poor little dude's not doing so well. Well, he's doing well in himself. He's he's bumbling around. His, like, his character is still exactly the same, but there's a lot of stuff wrong on his insides at the moment. Like, stuff that we can't do anything about, sadly. So we're just giving him some, while well, he's on the same steroids that Tally and Midna are on now. There we go, that's the inside of that one. So yeah, we've been dealing with, to be fair, a lot. Like, we've been dealing with a lot. It's been a pretty rough start to 2023 for us in this house, to be fair. Like everything that could happen and go wrong, kind of. Well, actually, not not everything. Not everything. There's a lot more that could have gone wrong, but a lot of stuff did go wrong. A lot of stuff has been happening, and it's been a bit rough. Meow. But yeah, sorry, this has been a really heavy, it's been a heavy episode. I've tried to sort of like spread it out of it as well, the, the heavy stuff amongst light, banter and fun and, and entertainment. But sometimes like you just got to get real, haven't you? Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> see how clean it looks and how actually dirty it is. It's hilarious. Okay, I'll get these little bits in the tires. Those tire grooves, you'd think the tires would be really easy to do, but they're just not. Little grooves are just a nightmare. Okay, that's the tire, the, the sorry, inside wheel done there. Perfect. One thing that is a bit of a saving grace is as long as you've done enough of something, it will usually, like, kind of give you it, you know? Like, if you've done, like, most of a, a thing, it'll kind of be like, yeah, you've done, like, 90, 98% of this. Ding! There's definitely something there. And there. Uh, handle that. Okay, we're starting to get to a point now where when I'm pressing the uh, the tab button, there's not quite so much showing up, which is great. I think I need to get underneath again. This is where all the dirt really is. So hopefully this has been something a little bit fun, a little bit different. Something that I can use just to practice a bit, to be honest. Practice me. 
my YouTubing skills again. <laughs> You're like, she lab, you didn't have any skills. <laughs> you just chat. I know. <clears throat> oh, the frog, the frogs are back. The frogs are back in my throat. My chest is starting to feel a tiny bit burny now as well, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm a good way through this now. We're at 98% cleaned. Just all these little tiny bits. And then once I've done all of the, the main cleaning on this this one, um, I'll go and I'll show you. I will do some time lapses because I think that will be super fun. I put a lot of work into this. It, it, even if it wasn't really work, it was just sort of playing on the side. But you know you know what I mean. I put a lot into this. A lot of, a lot of time into this, okay, at least. <laughs> so I'll sh I'd love to show you the results. And you can get an idea. Uh, I'll show you this one as a. Oh, it will show anyway as a, a time lapse, and then you'll be able to see like how much work I put into it versus um, what actually shows on the time lapse, and it, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Just gonna rest my voice a sack. Okay, I'll be. I'll talk in a minute. <coughs> Ooh, there's some good dings. I love a good ding. What's all that then? Come on. So there'll be a lot of this stuff underneath that will be showing up as uh, things that I need to complete. So if I can see like orange, I may as well go for it and then it will eventually get to a point where I can't see any more orange. And there will be just little tiny bits. How on earth am I meant to get? Some of those bits are going to be really hard to get, I can tell. Oh, I thought that was an orange bit, but it was a yellow thing on the floor. Oh man, there was one like tree house where the wood was kind of an orangey color. It was really difficult because I couldn't work out which bits needed cleaning and which bits were just like orange wood. That was an absolute pain that was. Okay, some, something up there. I think I'm going to get the step stool because there's a couple of little bits that are just on a slightly different elevation. And uh, I think if I can just be up like that a bit, I would. Yeah, there we go. See, sometimes it really is just a case of grabbing a different perspective. So so, so he's looking pretty cool. I'm quite liking our, our monster truck. He is pretty funky. Okay, so um, let's have a quick look. What is and isn't clean? So there's an axle. There's the cat's body has a tiny, tiny bit that isn't done. The cat's front legs and the cat's head. The exhaust panel, the flame exhausts, the pipes, the side hatches, the steps, the step brackets. Okay, that is a lot to remember. The top hatch and the tires. Tires are really not done very well. So, apparently your face and your front leg isn't very good. So that front leg is definitely done. That one isn't. So this is where the, the progress bar is really useful. You can actually start to see where there are problems and things you need to sort out. <clears throat> the tires are starting to... You can see they're starting to flash because I'm starting to get to a point where there's just... It knows I'm trying to find things, so it's trying to sort of help me out. The game is trying to help me out a bit with it. The cat's head somewhere, there is like some tiny piece of dirt on the cat's head. Oh, I can see some there. Oh, 
I'm not really seeing it very well, so mm, we'll go back to the tires. Do a bit of work on them, I think. The tires are a nightmare because it's all about getting the right angles on them. So if I've managed to do one properly. Oh yeah, there was the step as well. The step wasn't done. A few little bits of dirt on the tire there. Mm. Come on, you gotta nearly be done, tire. I've washed you four hundred times now. Still not done though. I'm gonna get the ladder and I'm gonna just look at the wheels from another perspective. I'm also gonna put the ladder here. That way I can get up here and try and look at it. Uh, I can kind of get in there. It's actually the floor on that one. Yay! Tire number two is done. Yes. So the tires on the right hand side from face on are done. And it's now just a case of trying to get trying to work out what the deal is with these ones. Yeah, man. Hmm. I get in here and just see what I can see. I'm at a point now where the tires are not done, but I'm really not seeing the. And um, probably the step stool might be helpful in this. I'm not seeing where the dirt is. There we are. That's a good bit of dirt. Yeah. Right, that's tire number three done. Perfect. Just bring the step tool over. So you can see, like, it's definitely, there's different tools that you can use. Um, this does not want to go down. Here we are. That do make it easier to see things. Um, it's all about perspectives. It's all about sometimes jumping is even the best solution. Sometimes trying to get onto a different part of the vehicle is a good solution. But thankfully we only have one tire left to do now, which is great because th those tires were super annoying. A little bit there. I don't know now where on that tire is actually. Dirty anymore. Looks pretty darn clean, doesn't it? Come on, where are you? Sometimes you just gotta wash the whole thing again. Ah, come on. Let's go down here. Ah, gotcha. That's where all the dirt is. Right, got it. Okay, next one. Uh, what are you going to look at now? The axles. Still not, still not quite done on the cat head, though. Aha! Cat head is done. Perfect. That was a bit of luck more than judgment, I think. That is the axle. That is still really, like... I should make sure that I'm on. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do this nozzle for now. And I might need to go to the even smaller nozzle. But we shall see. A little bit in there. There, 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 there. Is 
see. She's got to get. Got to see. You got to be able to see around corners basically for this game. I swear. Like you got to be able to like see right around. Uh, now the stool is in the way. I may have to go and move it. We'll see. You know. Yay! Axel is done. Nice. Okay, next. Next on my list. We're nearly there now, guys. Exhaust panel or flame exhausts. These guys. On the flame exhaust. It might be the top of them, though. Have a look. Yeah. Again, a little jump sometimes is just all that's needed on that. If you just got a tiny bit to do. Right. Oh no, apparently. That one's still flashing at me. I'd love to see I would love to see Ulysses in action. Right, so now it's giving me a to-do list because I've only got three things left. So when you get down to three things, then you get like a to-do list. And this has taken me nearly an hour just to do just to do a little cat dude. Because it is so fiddly. The vehicles I do find more fiddly generally than the uh, the buildings. But the buildings do take longer because they're bigger jobs. So, top hatch, side hatch. Is that a side hatch? That's a side hatch. So there's probably a side hatch on the other side. <clears throat> and there's something not quite done on that. But what is it? Right, done. Uh, yeah, top hatch. This one, so there's something not quite done on that. That's not too difficult though, not compared to things like the axle. Is it? Oh, there we are, done, right, okay. And there's a pipe, but it only says pipe. Nice and descriptive there. So uh, what what is pipe? One of these, aha, yes, 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 that one there. There's a main call. Just slightly needed to be done on that and then we are done. Yeah, job complete. So it <laughs> only took me like 50 minutes, oops. Um. So yeah, that is pressure washer simulator for you. So that's the sort of thing you can do. So I'm gonna go out and show you. That is me time-lapsing Spent a lot of time on the wheels, you can see. That's my time lapse of me cleaning Ulysses. Truck looks magnificent. Great job, Doc. Just in the nick of time. We just had a fresh sighting in from Dredge Deep. <laughs> okay, so if I go back here, um, you can see. Uh, if I want to go back to career mode and completed. All the stuff I've completed here. So, what's some good ones? Cleaning the tree house is quite a good one. So, you can see this one. I went and I cleaned it all. And it took me ages. Can you see how big this one is compared to like doing Ulysses the cat, for example? I cleaned a drill. That one didn't take too long. That was quite a small job. But it was fiddly, <laughs> very fiddly. So that's what I'm saying, the vehicles are really fiddly. Um, I had to do a temple, that was hard because there was a lot of um, having to jump up and down levels. So I'll show you that one. So I did all the bottom and then you can see me get going up onto the roof and then jumped up on the roof and did all of that and then went around all the little other bits. There's also, uh, there was a toilet I had to clean, covered in, gra in graffiti. So that one was pretty cool. Uh, there was a health skelter. That was pretty cool. I had to go all the way like under the slide and the bits around underneath the, just inside the slide were a bit of a pain to get to. But that was pretty cool. So yeah, done loads and loads of different stuff. Um, if you go out into, there's some bonus jobs. You can clean the Mars Rover. You can clean a Gnome Fountain, a Steam Locomotive, or a Mini Golf Course. I haven't done any of those yet, but 
I probably will once I finish my career mode. Oh, also what unlocked? We've got a Ferris wheel to do next. So that's pretty awesome. But that's where I'm going to leave it for Power Wash Simulator. I don't feel that it's the kind of um, game where I'd want to do a massive series on it, but it's pretty cool just to show you how it all works, how detailed it is. That's one thing I'm most impressed with, with the whole thing is how many different little tiny parts they put into each level. That's really, really like, it's not just a case of, oh, you just pressure wash this and it's dead quick. There's all these tiny, tiny little things that you've got to get into. And I actually find it's, it's almost got a sort of puzzle element to it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to, um, you know, keep abreast of what's going on, then please subscribe and I can let you know when videos and things are out. I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.